Hello, hello, Annabelle here. And this video, if I can get the screen sharing to work, is all going to be my 30 day wrap up from my MetaPower adventure. Now I'm still going, I'm really doing it as a three month trial, but I've been wanting to do a bit of a wrap up after 30 days because I think it, while it's still fresh in my mind and I've taken lots of photos, I've kept good records. So I'm going to try sharing my screen. Let's give this a go. And the next trick is whether I can progress through these slides. So let's see if I can put it into slideshow mode. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> see if I can do this without mucking it up. So uh, MetaPower is, if you've been watching uh, my things for a little while, MetaPower is a brand new system from doTERRA all around supporting metabolic health. And so Meta, meaning metabolic power, PWR, personal wellness realized. So this is really about our own personal metabolic health journey, which is why I've called what I guess my experience with it, um, my own metabolic adventure, because I know that for my own health, there's lots of different metabolic issues. Um, and I'm really not, wasn't too sure how this system would work for me, if it would work for me. Uh, and so I wanted to see it as a bit of an experiment of one and really, um, yeah, see it as a bit of an adventure. So let's see if I can, oh, look, what do we know? So my metabolic adventure. So here we go. That's on the, on the left-hand side before I've taken lots of before and after photos. I've tried to do them at the same time in a similar location. <laughs> uh, so they're an honest, um, they're an honest portrayal. And I'll come to that because I've got a number of different picture slides to show you, but that's day one and then day 31 on the right after that. So that's after a full 30 days on the program. So I started on the 29th of September. I took the full system, which I'm going to explain, but it's three parts to the system. There's an essential oil. There's a, the metabolic advantage, which is a collagen based product, but there's got many other things added to it as well. And the MetaPower assist, which is all about blood sugar, um, stabilization. So I did reduce the assist part way through and I'll get to that as well. Uh, but otherwise I've kept, I've done the advantage every day and the oils every day in different formats, both the oils in my water and the oils as a soft gel predominantly. I've recorded daily in a, I'll show you in a journal, which I have created for my own kickstart program. I haven't created it specifically for MetaPower. doTERRA have some um, material that they've produced specifically for MetaPower but I thought well I wanted to trial my journal so I thought it was a good opportunity to do that so and actually it's been really helpful you can see if you could watch this I'm flicking through I've taken lots of notes and I've taken some screenshots that are in these slides as well I took daily photos and uh, I've been tracking, uh, I set up a new Instagram account called metabolic.adventure uh, where I was doing, started off doing daily videos, probably spread out to every couple of days and was sharing them on a YouTube playlist, which I've put the link there as well if you want to check that out. Alrighty, what is next? <laughs> so some of these slides are from the official doTERRA MetaPower slide, but I'm not really going to use this presentation for a true education around the system. I will do a separate video. This is really just, I'm pulling out a few of the slides because uh, I think they're helpful to explain the context of what I'm sharing about my own personal adventure. And this pyramid has been around in doTERRA. Um, they shouldn't really talk about pyramids, should they? With them, um, it's, not, it's not a pyramid, it's not a pyramid business, um, but doTERRA, has these foundations of wellness that we've talked about for years. I've been with doTERRA since 2016, I think. Uh, and so really making sure that we're getting our nutrition and digestion, movement and metabolism, rest and stress, reducing toxicity, informed self-care and proactive medical care. And that fits completely with my holistic view to how to how I manage my own health. And that's probably one of the reasons why I've been attracted to the doTERRA from the beginning is that there are no quick fixes. 
Uh, it's all in the context of a healthy lifestyle. So whether that's essential oils or supplements or this new meta power system, it's all in this um, holistic healthcare model. And wellness starts at a cellular level. So, and again, I've been following that for my own health for a number of years, understanding that I have um, Hashimoto's, uh, understanding that that is really inflammation at the cellular level. So that sort of rings true to me too. Um, so what is metabolic health? In general terms, um, oh, only 6.8% of the US population have good metabolic health. And I'm sure in Australia, it's pretty similar. So what actually is part of metabolic health? Well, there are five pillars that doTERRA has identified, which I went and then did some extra looking into generally what is metabolic health. You can Google what is metabolic health and you're going to find very similar answers to this. So pillars are healthy eating, daily movement, healthy connections uh, in terms of relationships, managing your stress well and supplementing well. Now, just so we're clear, if you don't know me, you just happen to land upon this video. Uh, I have been following, um, I guess, a wellness as a lifestyle mantra, for a better word, for a number of years. Uh, my diet is basically paleo with a focus on anti-inflammatory anti-inflammatory. So I don't eat any gluten. I don't eat many grains or dairy um, or refined sugars. I don't eat legumes and I don't drink much alcohol either. And over the last 30 days, I probably have had some, but really not much at all. I can't, I can't think maybe one weekend. From a movement perspective, uh, so about maybe eight to nine weeks ago, so a good probably six weeks before I started this, I had a back incident where my back went into a spasm. I was basically immobile for about a week. And so at the beginning of this, I was still in a lot of pain and restricted movement, but significantly better than I had been. So when I started MetaPower a month ago, I was up to walking and doing uh, make, maintaining daily steps. I set a target of 5,000 steps a day, so I'm up to a streak of about 70. <laughs> so I've been doing that before I started this, um, but 5,000 steps is not <laughs> is not so by no means a lot, um, but it keeps me going. Uh, and I, throughout the last month, have started really increasing. Um, back into some of my kettlebell workouts and weights, but by no means what I say, I've been doing any significant weight strength training in the last month because I've been building up the strength back in my back. So I'm getting there, uh, but I didn't, I haven't changed significantly my diet and movement, I suppose is what I'm trying to say in the last 30 days. I have had some increase in strength training, but I wouldn't say I'm anywhere back um, at you know, a full potential or really kind of pushing it in terms of the, the weights at this point in time. Certainly getting better at that or getting stronger so I can do that, but I, I didn't make a significant change to my diet and exercise over the last 30 days. I have really healthy relationships. Um, my stress management is a lot better than it used to be. <laughs> um, and smart supplementation. Look, I'm on thyroid medication. I take other doTERRA supplements. I take other supplements that my doctor has recommended that are unique to me. So I'm, I do take a number of different supplements. Okay. So what I wanted to show you here, and you might not be able to read it in detail and that's okay, but this is inside my um, journal. And at the beginning I set a few, oh, this is how I want to feel, you know? Um, so the writing in blue was what I wrote on day one. And then you'll see pink writing. I've just simplified it rather than showing you the what I wrote at the end. I've just added in some pink notes, which is what I did today, um, which is about day 31, 32. I've just finished, really. So I wanted to, when I started, I wanted to uh, be stronger, uh, clearer and unstoppable. Uh, I'm definitely feeling stronger uh, and clearer, which I'll get to. Uh, unstoppable, I don't know, I'm getting there. <laughs> I wanted my goal, really what I wanted to accomplish was a consistent trial of the products and I've definitely achieved that. Uh, and ultimately, you know, I guess if the product works, I want to be a good um, 
advertisement to it. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. See, and you can be the judge of that. Overall, I wanted to increase motivation. I wanted to feel strong, clear headed, calm, wanted to feel like I could, you know, tackle the world. And yeah, I feel a lot better at that. And we'll come to that in the next couple of pages. I wanted increased energy in the morning. I wanted to find it easier to get out of bed. I've definitely had some improvement in that area. And I would say that throughout the day, I feel more energetic, but I certainly feel like I've still got a little way to go uh, in terms of springing out of bed in the morning. I do still take a little while to wake up in the morning. From a stress point of view, I want to feel calm. I wanted to keep my parasympathetic nervous system working because it had been wreaking a bit of havoc and kind of switched itself off and done some crazy things uh, before I, you know, I'd had that fixed before I started, but I wanted to maintain that. I think generally I've been fairly calm over the last month. Um, sleep. I wanted to fall asleep more easily. Definitely uh, that has happened. And a minimum of eight hours sleep. Is, um, well, I would say I'm making progress in that area. So you can see here too, I wanted to, uh, my gut health is pretty good. And I would say of all of the areas, it's the gut health that's probably taken a bit of a nose dive. Nose dive is probably not quite the right I've noticed the most perhaps negative impact on my gut health, particularly when it comes to kind of gas and, you know, being a bit, um, not, um, yeah, really gassy, really farty, bit stinky, quite stinky. Um, some changes in my bowel movements. Um, and this hasn't, this is an uncommon, um, I think as we, as we make new changes and certainly as I look in other forums, people, other people have had similar sort of experiences. So I think I'll be interested to see how that tracks over the next month. And that is in part why I reduced the, um, well, that's really the main reason why I reduced the assist, which was, which is one of the components of the product. Uh, my skin, I've always had good skin, but um, I've noted here, I'd I've got a lot of cellulite around my hips and thighs, as probably do most 48-year-old women, I guess. Uh, but I definitely have noticed my skin um, feels tighter. It feels like there's less kind of puffiness underneath my skin, which sounds weird, but that's just how it feels. So it feels firmer, clearer, shinier. Um, and even over my lump, what I call my lumpy bits, the cellulite, it feels smoother. Now, whether that's noticeable to anybody else, I don't know. Whether it's significantly noticeable for me yet, I don't know. It's just an overall feeling that my body feels smoother and less lumpy than it used to. Here's the one that's really probably the biggest difference is my pain levels. Now, as I said, I was still easing, still in making improvements after my back injury, but I noticed that I, you know, I said I would love a reduction in pain. <laughs> and if you look across to the third, I don't know if I can here, I don't know if you can see that here. How would you rate your pain levels? I had circled eight being high uh, at the beginning. And then when I reassessed it after at the end, I reassessed it at five. Now, if you look over here, I had written that I had neck pain. Now I don't have any neck pain at all now. Uh, shoulder pain both. Uh, now I've still got left shoulder pain. I've had left shoulder issues on and off for years. <laughs> um, uh, right shoulder, I've got no pain in my right shoulder. So I don't even really remember what that was. So it's an amazing how quickly you forget. Uh, lower back, significantly better. In fact, I've got my period Usually like that day one or two, I end up with back pain. Didn't have any back pain at all um, this time, which is quite impressive, I think. Uh, I've had long-standing pain in my right hip, particularly if I've been sitting for a while or when I first got up in the morning, that's almost gone. Definitely feeling stronger than I was. Uh, still feel like I've got a way to go, but a uh, significant reduction in pain across my body. And that has been a long-term frustration of mine is that, a different body part of mine hurts at different points in time. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, the other thing that I would just want to highlight is that I hadn't made a note of any hormonal um, menstrual things. In fact, that's probably what I should add into my journal, but I did notice. So 
I've, I've had a very regular cycle for quite a long time now. Um, even though I'm 48, I haven't, I haven't slash hadn't noticed any really significant perimenopause symptoms. It, it might be that I've had some that I've put them down to thyroid symptoms because they can overlap quite significantly. So that is possible, but I've had a regular cycle until MetaPower. And I don't know if this is just a coincidence. So again, I'll have to see what happens over the next couple of months, but I didn't get my period. My period was four days late and that was a week into starting. And I was, was a bit concerned because I had read that NMN, which is one of the components of the advantage, can actually make um, eggs healthier. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't deal with that. So anyway, I was very grateful when I got my period. But and and then I got my period a couple of days ago, which was six days early. And I don't think that's ever happened. Well, I shouldn't say ever, but I really can't remember. I've always operated on a, if it's going to be at all different, it would be slower. It's never been faster. So I don't know whether the first one was a blip and this is bringing it back into how it was. I'm just going to have to wait and see how that plays out over the next couple of months. But um, I wanted to make a note of that. And I think that is probably an important thing to track. Uh, but as I said, I haven't had any back pain this time, which is great. So I did some assessments and you can kind of see here um, that there's general improvements in everything. <laughs> um, my overall health. I've, and I didn't check what I had circled at the beginning when I answered at the end. And then I just transcribed my end answers over this to make it simpler, but I wasn't doing it in comparison. I just sort of, that's just how it landed. So you can see my overall energy's improved a fair bit. My stress levels improved. My sleep's improved. Gut health is the only thing, as I said before, is probably not as good as it was. Skin already good, but better. Pain levels, significant improvement in reduction of pain. Body image, I've you know, generally got pretty good body image these days generally pretty happy. So um, I'm really happy with those in three, in three 30 days. So I'm going to say one month. <laughs> it's pretty good. Then I did some more detailed assessments here. Uh, and again, I can see general improvement over everything. It, um, gut's a little bit all over the place. Sleep's definitely improved. My mood and emotions have improved. Um, so overall feeling so much better. Um, but I'm just going to, I'm going to flick through these slides because I'm sure you don't need to see me looking how I look every day for 30 days, but I, I'm just proof that I took photos every day. Um, I took some, you know, that sort of flat, not faced, not smiling. I took uh, some smiling. Um, I took kind of what I called full body or torso sort of images. Um, and again, sort of subtle changes which I've kind of blown them up here. Um, now, I don't think I've ever shared, um, let's call them bikini shots before. They're on the next couple of slides, so be kind. And I don't think, I can see small changes, but not massive changes. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We're talking about subtle changes here. But so day 31, um, like I said, what I can see in those pictures, uh, my eyes are brighter. Uh, I found it hard whilst I was trying really hard to take photos in the same spot, similar time of day, lighting's just different, whether it's cloudy outside or sunny. And so I've tried to sort of make sure that the, the images are honest, I suppose, is what I've been trying for, although there is some sort of differences. Uh, and even the way you slightly hold the photo for a selfie can make a difference. But I can see um, less red less puffy, clearer, clearer in the eyes. That's what I can see. Uh, so here is the front on. And I've the last, the two pictures here on the right are both taken exactly the same day, different poses. So I just wanted to show you that you can really kind of manipulate, I think, how you look with a pose. And I'm sure there's, um, no, I've never learned how to pose. <laughs> Certainly not for, you know, swimwear type shots. But um, I just thought I'd show. I threw, took them and I thought I'd throw them in and, you know, see. So I can see a small amount of, um, you know, around the middle 
Um, that's the biggest change I can see in this picture. But you can see if I hold my arms out, it just sort of accentuates, I think, you know, the waist looks a little bit smaller. So it really is interesting. But here's what I've noticed from a from a physical point of view. All the other things I've talked about, you know, have been, you know, energy, um, you know, sleep, skin, mood. But this is the physical um, the physical results. I would say I've – well, I haven't weighed myself consistently for years because – took me a long time to get out of the diet mentality um, and weighing myself daily. So I really weighed myself officially at the beginning and the end. I did jump on the scales a couple of times in between. Um, but I've, I've got to say I wasn't really expecting to lose weight. I, I, I don't – I would say I kind of – I don't really lose weight. I feel like I, my body has hit a – status quo that's been at probably a similar weight for a pretty long time. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised to have lost a kilo. Now I have noticed in some of the testimonial groups, some people have lost lots of kilos. Some people have gained a little bit of weight. Some have stayed the same. Some have lost small amounts. We're all really different. And metabolic health is really different. Now, if in the end, over say a six month period, I could lose a kilo a month and lose five or six kilos. That'd be incredible. So I'm okay with one kilo loss. Of course, having spent decades of my life on the diet and being weight focused, oh, of course, I would have loved to have say I've lost five kilos in a month, but I haven't. But I have lost one. And so let's celebrate that. Um, now you can see I've, I have put my measurements down there of what I've lost. So uh, overall lost nine centimeters. And I do feel overall like I've shrunk a little bit. So, you know, I guess that's uh, proven in the, oh, um, proven in the, in the numbers. So the biggest change there is probably in my waist, three and a half centimeters down. That's, that's pretty good. So um, overall, minus nine centimeters. That's about that much. I'm pretty happy with that. So you can see here too, then side, side on and back on. Can't say I love seeing the back rolls. <laughs> so you, again, you can see I put the last picture in as a different pose. I think it's a more flattering pose, but the first ones were how they started. So I thought I would try to be consistent. Um, but interesting, you can see in the active wear in this blue one here, I mean, that top just smooths out all the lumps. But, you know, it's amazing, isn't it, really, how if you just, I don't know, I just think it's a, a good good example of how things can, you know, you can play with how you look <laughs> um, and so you don't want to get hung up on one particular photo or image. But I can definitely see um, some, you know, bit smaller around the middle, which is nice. Um, I don't know if I can notice a lot of difference at the back, to be honest, but anyway, we'll see. So that's, I guess that's the summary of where I've been at. Uh, look, I'm sure if, if you want to hear it as it's unfolded, go back and watch the other videos. Um, because I, I did do a bit of a daily update in the net in that MetaPower playlist. I'm just going to briefly explain the MetaPower system just so you know what I've been taking if you haven't been paying, if you haven't kind of watched uh, other things to this point. So um, I'm just going to run through this fairly quickly. So these are our general metabolic health obstacles. So we've got maturing fat cells that sort of get bigger. Apparently we don't gain extra fat cells it's more that our fat cells get, you know, bigger and smaller. Uh, managing our blood sugar spikes. I didn't realize until, you know, probably the last six months or so, I've learned a bit more about blood sugar spikes, um, that that is really significant in terms of aging. It's like putting the brakes on in your car, going speeding up and, you know, putting the brakes on is going to wear your car out much more than if you just sort of drive at a steady pace. And our cellular health, as I said before, is really important. So this is where the metabolic power, there's three components, core components. There's the oil, which is the MetaPower metabolic blend. And you can see in that image there, it comes in 
an oil in this 15 ml bottle. Um, it comes in little beadlets. It comes in a chewing gum and then it comes as a soft gel. So I, it's, um, benefits are that it inhibits fat cell maturation. So that's, that kind of, um, helps to, stop the fat cells from maturing, which is good. Uh, it helps to curb, cra curb cravings and supports our overall general metabolic health. Now I have been taking that in, as I said before, the oil in the water, the soft gels, which are a bit like a capsule, I suppose, are probably taken two a day because I just put them in with the rest of my pills one morning, one night. I haven't really used the beadlets very much. Um, and the chewing gum, I have used more than I thought I would. And mostly that's been when I've been cooking dinner so that I don't just snack on all the food that I'm cooking and then eat dinner. <laughs> so I found that actually quite helpful. The second um, part is the MetaPower Assist. Now, as I said to you before, this is the part, this is the part of the program that I've reduced a bit. Um, but here are the benefits. Um, decreases post meal glucose spikes, reduces the absorption of simple carbohydrates, supports healthy blood sugar responses, and stabilizes energy throughout the day. So that's a, that, some really helpful um, benefits. This is the one that I think I probably need, I should have eased into a little more at the beginning. Um, but about halfway through, and I think this is what was giving me really bad gas. So I did, if you go back and listen to some of the videos, probably about halfway through, I went to see my naturopath and she sort of, in her testing, didn't think that my body was responding very well to that. I had a good few days off, had another one, had lots, then I ended up with some bloating and lots of gas. Then I worked out, I couldn't actually pull the capsules apart and kind of, um, break them in, you know, distribute the, the contents into some other capsules. So I've kind of been doing that the last week, probably having a third to half once a day. Um, and I've definitely still been gassy again. So I'm just not sure, still not sure what I'm going to do about that, whether I just keep on that really, really low dose or if I maybe do half of one every second day. I haven't quite worked out that. I guess that would be part of my month to um, – my month to adventure. I will keep reporting back. Uh, then this is the, the third part, which is the MetaPower Advantage. This, I think, is the core. Well, actually, really, the oil is core because it's through it all. But I've actually, I really lo I love this. <laughs> I've actually started to really look forward to this. Uh, this is our um, Advantage, which is Collagen Plus NMN. And when I do the training video on this, you'll see all the other amazing um, components to this product. But essentially it's nine forms of marine collagen, NMN. It's got other um, some, some other impressive ingredients in there as well. And it promotes healthy biological aging and improving health span. So that meaning that we're healthy for longer, not just that we live longer, but that we're healthy for longer. That's what health span means improves cognitive function, and I've definitely had a layer of brain fog lift. Uh, I think I meant to say that earlier, but I don't think I did. Uh, within the first mm, three to five days, I felt a layer of brain fog lift. Now, I still feel like I've got some brain fog and some cognitive connections that could be improved. Uh, so I feel like there's still a, a little way to go with that, but I really noticed quite early on a really significant lift in brain fog and clarity. And a number of other people have had that experience as well. Uh, this, this part of the system supports lean muscle and connective tissue. So you think about all that collagen, that's, that's um, great for that. And I'd say that has played a significant role in the reduction of my pain levels and just my ability to move my body more freely and improves skin elasticity and firmness. And I'd say I've definitely been experiencing that. So, yeah, I love it. It's a powder that you mix in just with water, have it once a day. Um, I have played throughout the last month of when I take that particular part of the product, and I've uh, found the last probably two to three weeks maybe I've been taking it about 11 o'clock in the morning. I started off at the first in the morning, 
Um, I've tried it at night. Some people found it helpful at night. That didn't work for me. I had more trouble sleeping, got twitchy legs. But I found that taking it in that late morning, I've had nice clear energy all afternoon and then I'm still sleeping well at night. So that seems to be the sweet spot at this point for me is to have it at that time. It tastes lemony, orangey. It's not super sweet. Um, you, you can squeeze a bit of lemon juice in it if you find it a bit sweet. You know, you could tone it down with that, which it tastes really refreshing with that. But I haven't found like I've needed it. And I, I would say I'm reasonably sweet sensitive. Um, I think it tastes nice. It's refreshing. Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed that part of the um, part of the system. So um, I might come back to this uh, later on in the next video that I'll do, which is really the training. But this just gives you a bit of a daily schedule as recommended by doTERRA. So in the morning to have the basically the oil in water, like the, the essential oil in water, which you can sip on throughout the day to have a MetaPower soft gel with um, like LLV there you can see is Lifelong Vitality, which is doTERRA's nutritional supplement range. I've been taking Lifelong Vitality for about five years. Uh, I've kept taking that throughout this last month. I haven't changed any other of my supplement regime. Uh, so as you can see here, that's where they recommend to take the advantage in the morning. And I guess I'm still taking it in the morning, just later on in the morning. Uh, during the day, uh, like the assist, uh, it's recommended to have 30, 15 to 30 minutes before your main meal of the day, particularly your carb heavy, if you have a carb heavy meal of the day, uh, which perhaps that's, well, it could even be breakfast, but it's more likely to be lunch or dinner. I was having it mostly at dinner when, I, when I've been having it. Uh, throughout the day, you can just keep adding a drop or two of the oil in your water um, and then having a soft gel after lunch if you want to. I haven't really done that consistently because I forget, uh, but I do have a soft gel after dinner as well. So you can kind of see that, yeah, there, that's the general recommendation. Um, but we're all unique and we're all going to have to play with uh, how this works for us as individuals. Uh, when you get the box, um, actually, I'll come to that, I think, on the next slide because I have done an unboxing video. Um, so this is the kit. See, it comes like this. <laughs> um, and I did an unboxing, so you can go back and watch that. But that's exactly what you can see in the picture and you can see it on it's what I've got here. It's the box. So currently, um, so I'm recording this on the 31st of October, 2022. Um, and this is available through the, through doTERRA, through the U US. Now you could be watching this from anywhere in the world. So if you, uh, but I can tell you the prices if you live in the USA and if you live in Australia. Other than that, I, I can help find out for you and whether or not you can access it yet. So still brand new product. It only was released in mid-September. Uh, so up until tomorrow, from the 1st of November, the individual components will be available to purchase. And at this point, until they're released, I don't know what the individual prices are going to be to purchase from Australia. So I haven't put any individual pricing in this, but I think it's worth buying the whole kit to start with. Then you've got everything you need. Of course, you don't have to. So from tomorrow, you'll be able to buy them individually. So if you want to just start with the oil in your water, you can do that. If you want to just start with any part of it you can do that because it's not a the reality is particularly in Australian dollars it's not an inexpensive system but um you know I think we all place different values on our health and wellness and energy and brain fog and lack of pain and, and so if it means it's less chiropractic visits and you know less painkillers for some people or you know, less coffee to keep you going at night or less wine to unwind you. You know, there's a lot of ways that even though it might sound expensive and I'm not suggesting it's cheap, that um, it actually comes, you know, you could be saving costs in other places. So if you live in the USA, it is 179 US dollars. That is for the whole collection. That's everything you've got see pictured there. And it is... Um, if you aren't yet a doTERRA customer, that also includes your free account membership, which gives you 25% off every other doTERRA product, every other oil supplement, household cleaning product. <laughs> Maybe you'll never buy anything else and that's fine. But if you want to, you can, and that you continue to get 
then when you want to replace um, the different components of MetaPower system, um, it'll be at 25% off. Oh, we've got a kid arriving home. All right, <laughs> I will just be able to edit that out. So that's 35. Um, right, so, uh, and if you want to buy this from Australia, if you've already got a doTERRA account, when you log in, you'll see that you can click on a little toggle button that says US products. Oh, I'm just out of breath from letting the <laughs> pen back in. Uh, and if you don't have a doTERRA account, I can help you set up with a doTERRA account. You can buy this and then you'll be able to purchase any other products through the Australian warehouse if you want to do that. So from Australia, it is 214 US dollars, which includes shipping. And if you're a new customer, includes that free account. So that actually is about a saving of about $50 because the shipping is about $30 Australian um, and it's $25, $30, I can't remember now, I think it's $25 or $30 for an account fee. So um, even though, you know, you've got to look at the exchange rate and that changes from day to day, you are still saving that account fee and the shipping is included as well. doTERRA has always subsidised shipping from America, which is very generous really. So there you go. That is um, how you can get started. This picture just shows in the context of your lifelong vitality, um, which is your nutritional supplements. Um, MetaPower, it's, it's not our basic nutrition. <laughs> it's metabolic support. Uh, so doTERRA does offer um, nutritional foundation supplements and, you know, greens and protein and other things as well. So that is something just to consider. And I think, I think that's the end of um, the presentation. So there you go. I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's given you a, a bit of a look and feel as to how um, my body has responded in its metabolic adventure over the last 30 days. I won't be doing daily updates anymore. Um, I will probably do a bit of a weekly reflection and I'll do proper kind of um, check-ins at the end of each month for months two and month three. I'll just see how it goes. Certainly if I notice something significant, then I'll make a note of that and record it. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, please let me know. If you want to get your hands on MetaPower, uh, just check out the link in the description below and the instructions. But if you're not sure about it, I'm very happy to do it for you, help you through it. <laughs> just have to reach out to me, send me a message. I would love to help you. Um, but you need to know that you're, it will be your own adventure, <laughs> you know, and your results may be very different to mine. Uh, your metabolic health is will be very different to mine. You'll be starting in a different place. To me, we're all unique. Um, you, of course, before you t start anything, you should get advice from your health practitioners and nothing that I say in sharing my own experience constitutes any kind of medical health advice or recommendations. So there you have it. My metabolic metapower adventure continues.